Hey you guys, we decided to start doing some first reaction videos as we get some new inventory that's coming in. So I'm gonna be unboxing some items that came from overseas. These are some uh, unique uh, pottery pieces. We have a couple of potters that are now part of our uh, collective. We have some local ones. Uh, so if you've been in the shop, you've seen uh, Joy Tara has brought in some items and she's going to be bringing in some other new items. Um, but we also have another one, a different styling, a little bit different kind of vibe to it. So I wanted to uh, unpack a couple of these and let you guys see them for the first time, just as, as we're seeing them for the first time. Okay. Um, I don't quite remember what's in this box because we ordered it a while ago and it came, um, where did this come in from? United Kingdom from uh, one of the um, artists that we were introduced to, um, Wynn Abbott. Wynn Abbott is the company. Um, they have a, a, a website. You can see some of the other things that they, they do out there. Um, some really cool stuff. There's kind of like a druid vibe to it. So there's a lot of really unique items that are just a little bit of a diff, like a different path or more earthy kind of path. Uh, luckily, these things were packaged really well because unfortunately, one of the boxes came in, it was a little, a little smushy. So we're hoping that everything in there um, has made it and has survived. So let's see. Uh, this one, is, it looks like it's got runes on it. Very cool. So this one looks like it's a like an altar um, ball uh, bowl. Man, the lighting in this area. We're gonna have to find a really cool place for the lighting in here. But it looks a little green on the inside. It's got some runes and some raven skulls at the top of it. Uh, nice weight to it. There's some nice depth to that. Um, the the um, ceiling or the glaze that's inside of there. It's really cool. It's kind of sparkly and green inside of there. So we've got a few that have runes. I'm sure there's like extras of those. There's some really cool um, examples of those or different types or different styles of that. We wanted to get some goddess items, some, some druidic items, some, um, you know, maybe some deer, some, some uh, rabbits, you know, especially as we start to really quickly start approaching the, the, the new year and we're making our way towards in bulk. Those would be some fun fun pieces to have. Oh, I love this one. This one is a, it's a little goddess pot. So there's like a little goddess bowl there. And on the inside, it's nice and shiny on the inside. You could probably use that for um, sage or if you were um, since it's pottery, I'd have to ask them if you could put a charcoal disc in the bottom of this and see if you could um, burn it. The only thing with this is that I think it's a little, it's a deep, so if you're burning charcoal, you don't necessarily want them that deep because you got to get airflow into the into the containers. But this would be cute as a little another little altarpiece as well. Let's see if I can find something that's different shaped in here too. I know we ordered some some goblets and oh here's a bit here's a different piece a little bit bigger. We're going to be doing more of these. I don't know if we should do these like Facebook live, if you guys would be interested in that. Um, we're just trying out different content, different ways of connecting with you. Um, a lot of times we get in new inventory in the store and by the time you guys get in here, it's gone and you don't get a chance to see it. Sometimes we don't even get a chance to get pictures and put it online. So we want to try to try to do more of this where um, you guys get to see what's coming into the shop, especially these unique pieces. Um, but, uh, so if you like, if you want to see um, unbox, like our, our unboxings or our uh, new inventory, um, then let me know, because uh, when I post this, you can put the comments in there. Okay, so this one is pretty. This is another bowl. It's a triple goddess moon, very pretty blue and green coloring with some interesting kind of uh, striation effects on it. Um, another nice deep uh, bowl that could be used on the altar. Oh my, this one's big. <laughs> Tara, I might need your help holding the box while I dig this one out. 
Because there's packy peanuts and all of them everywhere. You need Terry for that. Oh, I know, but he's in his other job. Oh, I'm sorry, there's lots of party beers. <laughs> so. It says open with care. Oh, there's packy peanuts everywhere. I wonder if they're the kind that will um, uh, disintegrate in water. <laughs> No, 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 don't do that. <laughs> don't go with this kind of game. You going to get a pair of scissors to open up another one? Um, as far as pricing goes, I don't have the pricing right on hand right now because I'm going to have to get into the, the invoice and whatnot so that we can price them because we got to do the conversion. Obviously, we bought these overseas, and so they are... Um, I have to look at the price conversions, our cost. Yeah, it was in pounds and not in... Uh, dollars, but just we wanted to add some more, I guess, that earthy artistry vibe here um, and getting some more pieces. Pottery is one of those things that takes a long time because they have to um, make it and then you have to, I guess, clone it and fire Pottery. it and fire it. And um, so you know, the Joytera did not stick around, so we're excited that she's going to be coming back with some new stuff as well. This one is probably not one that we're going to get frequently in because it takes a long time to get it overseas. Um, and uh, but if you guys are if you enjoy it, then we'll we'll make the we'll do, make the effort. So okay, so I remember what this one was. This one is like um, kind of like an altar. I, don't, I guess I don't know what I would call it. It's more like a Mercury's going direct. I know, Mercury's going direct. <laughs> I'm losing my words. Um, oh, I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's kind of, triptage, is that the word that I'm looking for? Like when you have, um, like almost like when we had the screens on oh, the altar, you know, and you trifold. have trifolds and whatever not, so like that. And so this would be more kind of like a pottery version of that, um, except for it's, it's like almost like an altar statuary but not necessarily like a figure statue um, but you can use it as an altar space this is really cool okay so check this out this one's got an egyptian feel to it so you've got um your little deity urns down here those urns have holes in the back of them so that you can stick an incense stick in there and then there's like a flat altar up here that you could put like an offering on there so if you follow um, an Egyptian path, the wall, look at the wall on the back of there. It's all painted. It's got hieroglyphics. Oh, that is so cool. Like that is so detailed. There's painted, um, figures on the wall and hieroglyphics on the wall. Definitely something very unique for, um, somebody who is following, uh, an Egyptian path and wants something really like substantial for their altar, um, that they can work with. Um, and give them a home and everything like that. There's only one of these. These these ones are, um, they only make one of them. Like So like if we order different ones, it's gonna be different scenes and they're all gonna be unique and they're all gonna be different. Um, but that is really cool. I see Isis in there, Bast, Horus. That is really cool. That is really pretty. And it doesn't, the lighting doesn't do it credit. So we'll have to get some photos and because it's some of that is gold and copper kind of coloring on there, so we'll get some pictures for you guys and post them online. That's really cool. All right, did you find anything different? I don't know what you found. Um, so there's a couple more of these little pots. There's a penta pentacle, pentagram one in there, and then some more of those. They bowls. are very well packed, guys. Well, that's probably good because the uh, <laughs> the, the, sh the box got here a little little scary looking so this looks like this is another bowl Ooh, that one's pretty let's see that one so there's ones that they're not all just black colored this one is red color kind of like a rusty earthy red man we're gonna have to find a really great place to start doing this where the lighting is really good so studio soon. yeah the studio can't wait to show you guys the studio so so that, that's in the works in progress here soon Um, we got some more of those bowls and some more of those altar dishes here. Oh, here's another one of the triple goddess uh, moons or triple moon ones, but it's in blue. Um, the other one was like kind of a bluish green. So that's the nice thing is that they're going to be kind of 
all unique. This one is more blue brown and it's got more of that striping on there. That's really pretty compared to like this one. I mean, they're both, don't get me wrong, they're both pretty. They're just very different. So one is more light blue and the other one is more dark blue. Another red bowl. Ooh, that one's got, there you go. That Egyptian piece yeah. is an ancestor. An ancestor altar. Temple. Ancestor temple. Very cool. Very cool. I don't expect that one to stick around very long, so. And unfortunately my staff hates it because I make them wait to um, lay claims on items when they come in. <laughs> They're supposed to wait. So um, <laughs> so that way, you know, you guys get to see them and, and, get, and, and get the chance to, to purchase them. Because we do get to see these things first. So we get to see all this stuff awesomeness. Um, there should be some goblets in one of these uh, boxes too. Um, that I, I figured it out. They color coded it. This is the purple box, and this is the yellow. Oh, so the yellow box has the goblets in it. Mm -hmm. well, let's see if you find these, these scissors are crap. These <laughs> are too. Let's see here. They did a really great job. So I don't know if they're if they'll if they get a chance to see this video. Uh, thank you, Abbott or Wayne Abbott Studios for packing this so well. Sometimes stuff comes in and it's really heartbreaking when it's broken. Um, you know, especially when they are unique pieces and we don't get to, and there's no way of like recreating it. So let's see here. This is different. This is a, a different piece. This one looks like this is a, like maybe an oil burner or diffuser. Ooh, I love this. What? Yeah. This one is a triple goddess. You see the faces on the and it's a um diffuser. So and it does it looks like it's one piece, which is good. So then that way um this doesn't come off. Uh, and get broken. You put your candle in here, your tea light in here. You can put your oil or your wax melts, like from a hoodoo priestess wax melts, um, <laughs> up here in the top. And that, and the, there's like openings here for the light. That would be really pretty. There's another one of those. It's a little bit different. So this one is more of a scenery. You've got like a little offering bowl. You've got um, a little uh, goddess figure. Another window there. Oh, one of the goblets. Okay, so we got a bunch of these really cool goblets in. Um, there's different ones or different styles with different symbols on the front of them. Um, it looks like a tree down here holding the goblet up, nicely glazed. All of these are um, pretty heavy weight, so that would be, I would recommend, you know, hand washing these, you know, or you make it more ceremonial. It's the same one, the same symbol, so there's a couple of those. And we got them in some different colors, so there should be some reds, maybe some blues, um, so that there's a little bit of different experience. So, so anyhow, um, we're going to finish unboxing the rest of these and maybe get some pictures up online. So if, uh, if you guys are wanting to, to see for different items, you know, just let us know, send us a message. These are probably not going to make it online before we start getting them sold in the store. So if you are not local and you are interested in purchasing one of these items um, and they're not on our website, the best thing to do is to message us or email us. You can message us on Facebook, you can message us on Instagram, um, you can call the store. I don't know what our phone number is off the top of my head. 682-323-5085. Uh, or you can email us at hearthwisdomstore at gmail.com um, and let us know if that you're interested in one of our pottery, our new pottery items that came in. Um, and then we can work with you and we can actually send invoices and whatnot, um, you know, remotely to, for purchases for items. So like this is that red brown. So, so lots of really cool new stuff in here. Like I said, we'll get some pictures up online and uh, um, so you guys can see what the different items are. That's pretty too. It's really pretty. Okay. All right, you guys. 
uh, let us know, give us some feedback. If you like these, if you like seeing unboxings or you like us uh, showing you new inventory that's come in, we will keep doing that in the future and we'll see you guys great. Have a great Wednesday. Bye.